Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. Today we're taking a look at the Imperial Transport from the designer 8th Brother Brick. So far this ship has only appeared in The Mandalorian and it functions just as the name implies. It transports personnel and material from point A to point B. A bit more versatile than the similarly named Imperial Troop Transport that can only hover along the ground, but essentially it's a cold, angular craft that can make quick runs through a planet's atmosphere so the larger cruisers or capital ships can remain in orbit. It's got that awesome Imperial look to it with some great details. Eighth Brother Brick went above and beyond making this custom LEGO creation, and before I get into the finer attributes, first I'd like to say that if you wanted to build this model for yourself, the instructions can be found at our web store www.brickvault.toys. With each purchase comes the PDF step-by-step -step guide for building and a parts list for fast ordering online. All models are physically tested in real life, instructions are tested for clarity, and parts are curated for availability. Getting instructions is an excellent way to help support the channel and the talented designers we work with like 8th Brother Brick, who's also built the wonderfully detailed Swamp Speeder and the Snail Tank Droid. So click the link in the description below if you want to get started building. And all right, this ship is pretty new to the Star Wars universe as of the making of this video, so there are no specific referencing for like exact scale for this transport. The designer went for what felt right as minifig scale, and I think it falls more or less in line with the rest of the minifigure scale creations that you see flashing by the screen, which is pretty cool. Now, the first major design element of this creation that I want to point out to you is the truly effective use of the SNOT technique. SNOT is an acronym in the LEGO building world, which stands for studs not on top. It gives it that nice, smooth look. It's a common method that appears in many of the creations that we like to build in studio, which I think over time gives the impression that we don't like the look of Lego studs speckling a creation, but that's not the case. By side building bricks and adding slopes at the end of an edge, using panels as covers for subtle angle changes and hiding hinges deep in the frame to create even more subtle angles gives you this not so noticeable but extremely difficult shape by the nose. Just for example, basic brick stacking or attempting to use wedge plates on the exterior may have worked uh, as a building method too, but the techniques used here have little to no eye-catching artifacts left over, and when you look across this model, the truly impressive stuff you'll find are the angles hidden within angles. The back of the transport shows off this pretty darn advanced technique, and even on the very top, there are some subtle staggering angles here as well, and many of these minute accuracies are only better accentuated by the omission of studs and not just the simple game of smooth surface equals good Lego creation. Long story short, the details here are simply phenomenal and this transport has an incredibly dense piece count to prove it. Let's jump into the functions now though. The top comes off in two sections. Neither of them stud in, but both of the top assemblies have very specific areas of the frame that they slot into, so there's no fumbling for the correct placement and no wobble when you want to move it or swoosh it around. When they are totally removed, they reveal an interior that can stud a squad of eight troopers plus a commander or two. There's also a smaller room in the midsection that gives you a little more space for cargo or storage or minifigs or something like that. And this assembly here, uh, also has a roof that breaks away and it gives you just enough room for a pilot to use the controls and sit right at eye level with the trans red covered windscreen. Outside of that, the ramp drops down and the double turrets on either side can also swivel. This model is simply a great bit of technical finesse. It feels robust when you handle it. The transport does all the things I want it to do functionally, but really it's always going to come back to the special little connections for me. Look here, the eighth brother brick added some brackets so some slopes could be fitted to line up flush with this little bit of detailing. You you almost can't see it, but it makes all the difference when you can. And that's, well, essentially a sentence that describes this creation best. You almost can't see it, but it makes all the difference. I think this model does a great job of showing off some of these cool, harsher angles that the Empire tends to put in their ships. And remember, if you did want to build this transport for yourself, the instructions can be found at BrickVault.toys. If you have any ideas on more models you'd like to see built in the future, let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoy our content, you can always like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you next time at BrickVault. Yeah!